hello and welcome back to my channel my name is laura if you're new here i'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey it is sunday another beautiful day we are focusing on a bit of a sunday reset if you watched the last vlog you'll know that ty just got home and since he's got home we haven't done a full kind of restock of the cupboards or you know just you're fully unpacked now aren't you I'm fully unpacked. Fully unpacked, done all the laundry with that. But today, you know, got to do the sheets. Oh, that's bright. Should have got my sunnies. Uh, got to do the sheets, all that kind of stuff that a Sunday usually involves. Uh, but we'll definitely have a, oh, I got my cool girl sunglasses. Wait for it. Wait for it. Keep waiting for it. Oh, yeah. They have got so many fingerprints on them. These are those sunglasses that when it's like this, not cool. Look like men in black and then immediately down and she's a cool girl. Anyway, so she proceeds to push them up like that. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go do our groceries. We were gonna go to Superstore, but honestly, it is a little bit of a drive. We thought we'd just go for something closer. Uh, I overdid it in the weekend in terms of with fibrous food. Had a really fibrous tofu scramble and then a bowl that had shredded carrot and shredded beetroot and I paid for it. I suffered for it. So. I'm gonna go a little bit softer, a little bit gentler with the meals. Still get some veg in. I'm making Mondays a bit of a soup day. So at the moment, Mondays, make a big soup in the afternoon, uh, just roast a whole bunch of veg, uh, pile it all together like I did in the last vlog and then can eat it across the coming few days. Uh, so definitely need to get some veg for soup and that's where I can sneak in a lot of my plant points, my plant variety this week uh, because I shouldn't really be having any raw vegetables at the moment with where I'm at. Meat. Chicken by product meat. What's on the menu for Soy Gabby meat. this week? What flavor is that for her? This one's a healthy adult with chicken. She's not a kitten anymore. She's snobby. She is snobby. Go choose the right option. She liked what she last had. Purina one. We're dividing and conquering today, so Ty's cleaning the coffee machine. He's got AirPods in. I'm on bedroom and bathroom. He's on kitchen and lounge. decided I'm gonna pop out and go see if I can get a bunch of dried eucalyptus. I think there's a couple of places near me. I'm just gonna walk around and see if some of the florists have them. Uh, I haven't refreshed our eucalyptus in a while. We've got some on the bedside tables and then in one of our bathrooms. I just really wanna refresh it. And maybe I'll get two, maybe I'll get a second one for the shower, who knows, but then I'll just split it up in between. Just going for a little bit of a refresh. Because we're home for the whole festive season and winter and I'm not recovering from a major surgery like I was this time last year so you know I spent all of October and all of November inside but then we were going to New Zealand and so we didn't decorate the home for the holidays or anything and we didn't really nest so I want to nest a little bit more and that doesn't necessarily mean going out and buying a bunch of things it's just those little touches that make things a little bit cozier in your home we don't really need to get any new furniture, any new throws or anything like that. I would like to decorate a little bit more this Christmas with, I don't know if I mentioned, but my family are coming from New Zealand and my brother and his his partner, they live in the UK now. So they moved to London and so they'll be coming for Christmas as well. So it's pretty special and we're going to be going in between Sophie's apartment, my apartment and their Airbnb. And I just want it to be really cozy. Uh, we do it expats Christmas every year where we make our own pizzas and we decorate cookies and yeah I just want to put a little bit more effort in this year so all of those little touches obviously eucalyptus isn't necessarily a holiday thing I'm more just talking about making our home feel nice and homely I need to do a bit of a candle refresh and a candle restock because I feel as though all of mine have burnt out at the same time but I don't know the best place to get candles I don't want those really sickly sweet ones I want some nice ones that you know, the wick lasts a while. Any recommendations, let me know. Uh, I still haven't really found a go-to place that I like to get candles from.
I had to go for a bit of a walk, but I did find some and they smell so good. Okay, Ty and I have just spent the last two hours changing around the space. It's something we've wanted to do for a long time and yeah, basically it's not tidy necessarily yet. There's still a bunch of things that we've got to find a home for now that we've moved some things around. But the TV used to be here in the corner and on this big chest of drawers. And for a long time we've been saying that we're lacking in clothing space in the bedroom. So we wanted to switch the chest of drawers that we had in there with the chest of drawers we had in here. So that was the main job. But then I also said that it would be really nice to have the couch this side so that we can look at the trees outside and really optimize the sunlight in the winter because this isn't necessarily how we'd have it all year round, but when you don't get a ton of daylight hours in winter, you want to optimize your space. And then we put my desk here so that I can move my treadmill in underneath and I can be here. Coffee machine is now there that was facing that way. I'll do a tour in just a second, but yeah, it was very physical and we decluttered a bit of stuff, but honestly, that just felt like a whole other mission that anything that we sort of weren't sure we needed to sort through, we've kind of put to the side for now. So there's still a whole other job, but that is it for the day. It's 4.30 and yeah, done, done, done organizing. But let me just show you the room. Okay, we've still got to tidy and figure a few things out, but couch is here now so we can really enjoy the sunshine streaming in from the window and look out at the trees. My desk will be there, coffee setup station, mirror, and we've actually got the TV set up here and we're using our bedroom TV right now. However, if we think it's too small, we can go back to using the big TV and move the mirror into the bedroom or into this corner. But right now we're prioritizing all of this space, especially for when we start to socialize, we can put cushions on the floor and just have a lot more surface area. Anyway, this is not obviously a good cord situation. We're figuring that out. Just right now it's a bit of chaos. Not everything has a home. Ty's guitar is gonna go there. It's under the bed at the moment. Yeah, we're really trying to optimize where to put things. The stuff that's under the couch isn't necessarily staying there. It is a work in progress, but honestly right now, I'm really loving this space. However, I do think probably the two things that will change is I think we'll probably want to move our big TV back into that corner and move the mirror to the other corner, but not today, not today. That is future Ty and Laura's problem. I'm just watching the Beckham docuseries. I'm really enjoying it. Ty's already seen it. So he's just in the other room uh, practicing for an audition that he's got to submit tomorrow just for a commercial. So they're always a really quick turnaround. I think they gave it to him Friday night and then he's got to submit it by Monday midday or something. So you're just only learning a few lines, but just getting that all sorted. Did you leave something? Oh, there's your phone, yeah. Such a beautiful sunset. Do you want to see what's going on outside? Do you want to have some outside time? Making up some dinner. Some good old fashioned noodle soup. Noodles in a bowl, not too spicy. And then some dumplings in here, which I'm excited about. We love a good dumpling. Do we have soy sauce? Yeah, a little bit. I hope so. Just a little. Yeah. I've just been doing my skincare, I'm almost done, I just need to put eye cream on. But I was saying to Ty that today has definitely been a better health day than yesterday. Wildly different. And it does make such a difference having a good health day, having had a good night of sleep, and feeling like I'm going to go into this evening 
going into a good night of sleep because I'm not in any pain or discomfort right now, which means that even if my sleep is broken up a little bit with discomfort, I'll still be able to get some sleep at the front end. It might break it up a little bit, but then I'll obviously fall back into a deep sleep. So, you know, overall I should, should still get a good amount and having the good quality sleep makes such a huge difference in my recovery. I really feel it. I mean, obviously everyone really feels it when you have a bad night of sleep, but I genuinely feel that I have such a better health day when I've got the proper rest that my body's asking for. I'm also just gonna put a little bit of hair serum in, the one from Care Stars. I'm doing a cardio workout tomorrow, so it'll be hair wash day, because today is Sunday and I got my hair cut on Wednesday and I've done some pretty sweaty workouts since then. I just blow dry the sweat into my roots, put some brown hair dry shampoo and then just blow dry. This is me blow drying and it's good as new the next day but it's definitely on its last legs. I'm just sculling back some electrolytes. Good morning and happy Monday. I'm just having a bit of a break from doing some work and made a yogurt bowl which is got some protein powder in it as well and some cereal and just some other little bits i decided to not go for frozen fruit in here just because of my tummy despite the fact that it makes it 10 times better uh, but i just felt like something sweet so that's why i made that i i just can't believe the beautiful winter weather we're having the doors open at the moment because gibby's got the indoor outdoor flow going but this is so nice and this spot is going to be great because usually where my desk was before, I'd often get sunstrike in the morning in my calls and I had to kind of maneuver things around and pivot around the table so that I didn't have sun beaming into my eyes. Uh, I'm not going to complain about the warmth though. I love that this place gets heaps of natural light in the morning and it's super sun soaked. I'm also, once I finish this, I'm going to make a coffee before I kick into my calls for the day. I definitely want to get outside for a nice big walk today and then tonight uh, with the netball girls I'm going to do a cardio workout so I'm looking forward to that. I am so lucky to have Ty home to make me coffee <laughs> and you're wearing the friends hoodie. It was so sad to hear about Matthew Perry. If you don't know this about me, I love friends. She can quote it all. Everything that Laura says is a friend's quote. <laughs> Growing up, I had all 10 seasons in box set and they were given to me for Christmas one year and I swear I watched it every single day. It's such a comfort show for me. I do know it pretty much inside out, but it's just one of those things you can have on in the background, you can have on when you're chilling out at the end of the day, like I love it. Look at this coffee and look at this glorious mug. This was a gift from one of my best friends. And I love this mug. I absolutely love it. And look at this glorious mug. And this is a glorious mug. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Guys, how much content is too much Gibby content? How much is too much when it comes to Gibby? Do you want to see more? Are we being too obsessed with our cat? Or is it just the right amount? It's happening. I've got the sleeping bag coat on. I'm headed out for a walk. And I'm going to try and call... Uh, one of my best friends, obviously being here in Canada, I'm in a different time zone to a lot of my close friends, whether they're in the UK or back home in New Zealand. And so a nice way to break up my day is right now it's evening in the UK. So my brother lives there now, I can call him, catch up with him. Uh, my parents should just be waking up in New Zealand. So friends are waking up in New Zealand, getting ready for the day. So sometimes I can talk to a friend on the way to work when she's in traffic and I'm breaking up my work day. Or for Taylor in the UK, she's coming back from the gym, so I'll call her on the way back. So it's quite nice. I find because of my flexible work schedule, I don't struggle to, I do struggle to get my zip up. What have I done here? Here we go. Here we go. We get there in the end. I feel so silly in this coat, but it is so cold outside and I'm such a wuss. Let me check on my phone what the temperature is. Uh, just to see how wussy I am. Viewing temperature, Vancouver. What is the current temp? Okay, it's six degrees, which I don't actually feel that cold right now. I'm just, I think it's gonna be a little bit windy outside. Beautiful sunny day, but I'm mainly gonna be covered in trees. So anyway, here I go. 
out for my stroll. I need to charge my headphones. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use cord headphones like some chump. This is not the vibe, but oh well, we will survive. We survived a long time before wireless headphones with these. I've been back for my walk for a little while and I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. While I was out on my walk, I actually got a call from BC Cancer and I didn't realize that I had an appointment. I don't really get their booking system. I They don't send an email or a text or anything giving you reminders for appointments. And the way that they book them is they call you and they leave a voicemail. And if you're not there to answer the call when they call, they still go ahead with the appointment and assume that you can do that date and assume that you'll check your voicemail and change it if you are unable to make that date. And whilst, yes, I do understand that I have the responsibility to check my voicemail, I don't usually. I get so many spam calls. I do not know how people get your number. When I first moved to Canada, day two of having my number, I was already getting spam calls. Uh, so I often don't check my voicemail because I just have so many. So it, when I see that there's a new one pop up, I probably get at least one spam call a day and it says likely spam. But anyway, I obviously didn't answer their call when they called uh, telling me about the appointment. But luckily I was available to take the call when they did call. It said call one too many times. I hate it when I get these little dinosaur bumps, stegosaurus, and need to try again. Uh, anyway, so basically in the call we were just talking about how I needed to go get some more blood work done, my CEA levels. And I had a really interesting conversation just about recurrence of disease. And, you know, I just had a few questions about clarity, about when they're talking about things like that. Because in my mind, I think I had my colon removed, which was where the cancer was. I had 12 rounds of chemo and that was to kill any micro disease. And I've now had three clear CT scans. So doesn't that put me in a really good position to not have recurrence of disease? And he said that there still actually can be micro disease despite all of that. So that's why they monitor you so closely and have to look at all of your blood work and look at it every three months. Yeah, anyway, it was an interesting discussion. He was a really nice guy. He was really calming. He answered all my questions and we had an interesting chat about because there's a lot of new research coming out about the gut microbiome, obviously, and they talk about all the different ecological, oh, I'm stuck, ecological communities that live in your large intestines. And me, I'm thinking, well, I don't have my large intestines. And they're saying now new research is emerging to say that that is where uh, a lot of our immune support comes from and that these ecological communities are really beneficial for the body. So am I negatively impacted overall because I don't have a colon? We were kind of just chatting about that. There's not enough data or research to support either way yet, but I'm sure there will be in the coming years. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm definitely going to rug up because as soon as that sun sets, it's going to be freezing. Not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I'm not usually an evening exerciser. For as long, well, all of my adult life, I had Crohn's disease slash ulcerative colitis before finding out that I had cancer. And so typically, the evenings would always be me feeling super deflated if I had, you know, eaten throughout the day, which generally that's what one does. I found that, you know, I'd have more urgency and I just, I just always found that I was really flat. So with that in mind, I've just never built the habit to exercise in the evening. And obviously, when you're exercising with a group of people, you are... <laughs> there's a puppy. Obviously, when you're exercising with a group of people, you try to find the time that's the most, like, the best for everyone. Um, and that is the evening time. So I did this last week and today, and I do feel like I have more energy. I actually enjoyed it last week. But I struggle to wind down after it because you know, all the endorphins and that would be fine usually, but I do have an early start tomorrow. So I just have to make sure that I get home, have a hot bath, have some dinner, chill out and still get a relatively early night so that I can get some good Z's. Did you miss me? Hey, missed you too. Oh, he's waiting. Okay, so for dinner, making it super simple. I am cooking up some tofu, some broccoli, and some zucchini. Got some spices in there, and some soyaki. 
and then I've got some pasta boiling in here, just some penne brown rice pasta. Ty's also cutting up some avocado to have with it. Is it a good one? Oh, oh yeah. it's a good one. So we are just doing a really simple dinner and that is because, well, it's already, what's the time now? It's already 7.30. <laughs> How old does that make me sound? I just like, obviously you guys know I eat a little bit earlier. So typically I would eat at about six or 5.30 with my tummy. So the earlier I eat, the better. Oh, go, go. She was doing that to me before. She climbs up. It's honestly the cutest thing. Let me check if this pasta's done. I think the pasta is done. So what we need to do with the pasta tie is we need to get the sieve and we need to rinse it. Um, I think the sieve's actually in the um, dishwasher. It's clean. Nope, it's oh, it's here. So we need to um, uh, get the hot water and just rinse it through because it's got that thick. I got this. Yeah, you're all over it. You're all over it. I'll all right, so if you just add that in. Perfection. And here's the finished product. This whole thing only took 10 minutes to throw together as long as it took to actually boil the pasta. And then just added some avocado or avocado, avo, avo. Neither, neither, either, either. Tomato, tomato. Potato. Potato. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> okay, I'm also just cooking up these Portuguese tarts. They're just going in the oven shortly. What? <laughs> What is with the sass? Speaking of tarts. Yeah, speaking of little tarts. Uh, so I tried one of these when Sophie got back. I've actually had one before in London. My uncle and aunt bought me one. Uh, they're kind of like a little custard tart. And she bought them back a few weeks ago when she got back from Portugal. But Ty wasn't here. So he's going to try them now. They're just in the oven. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, here they are in all their glory. They kind of look like little mini quiches. But instead, they're just delicious custard goodness. All right, let me know what you think. I love the texture. Yeah. It's crispy on the outside. Thai loves custard. In New Zealand, it's really common to get like a custard slice or a custard tart. Mm. Yeah, is that right up your alley? Meanwhile, it's really Gibby sweet. is staring at something outside. It is really sweet. Like custard with brown sugar on the top. Yeah, yeah, it's like caramelized on the top, hey? Mm. Ty and I are just getting ready for bed. I, Ty just had a shower and I'm really enjoying the fresh eucalyptus that I put in the shower and just the smell of it. Are you enjoying that smell as well? Yeah, it's nice. It's so nice and fresh. So I definitely, that was that's actually my first time having eucalyptus in the shower. Usually it's just around the house. So I'll definitely repeat that. That was a good, a good call on our part. Uh, but I'm just gonna read my book and yeah, have a nice early night. It's already 8.30, so we won't fall asleep at 8.30, but we just like to watch something in bed. And what's the TV show called that Morgan Freeman's narrating, Ty? Is it... Um, it's Life on This Planet. Life on This Planet. Uh, it's, it's one of the top rated, but it's just really relaxing to watch. And obviously there's some pretty like brutal scenes in it because it's nature, so it's kind of, you know, primal instincts kick in, hunting, all that good stuff, but... It's still just the way it's narrated. It, it's relaxing to watch or it's a good thing to watch when you want to wind down. So, and Gibby loves it. And Gibby does love it. She stalks all the creatures. So yeah, going to watch some of that. Going to read my book and get a nice good night of sleep. Here's hoping the sleep is not disrupted. I am going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.